Hello and welcome to Zag Season, a Gotham Production Studios original podcast. I'm Autumn. I'm Dominique. I'm Brianna. I'm Danielle. We're here to debate our office's most unpopular and completely meaningless opinions. And my Zag is this. The umbrella is just not working. We need to start over and find a new solution for when it's raining. I agree with this. (laughs) I've had many umbrellas turn on me, (laughs) turn inside out physically. Um, They literally attack you. (laughs) They do. And they're also just embarrassing to use. Yeah. There is something embarrassing about trying to get like it undone. And then you see the graveyard of umbrellas after a rainy day in New York City. They're not working for a lot of people. Honestly, I have been personally uh, victimized by an umbrella (laughs) on my third day of working here. When I took it and literally cut my hand open, I could not agree with you more. Also, they don't take it into account that there's like wind that goes on your body exactly. that doesn't come from above of you. <laughs> and I feel like someone needs to do either like a tented thing where no one... Mm. Also, it's hard for some people to hold. What if you only could use one hand? What if you're ho- holding something and someone calls you and then you have your umbrella? The whole thing's a mess. It is a mess. I have a question for you, though. Yeah. What about the 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 th- thing that you wear? What do you call that? Like a poncho. Like a poncho. A poncho. This, my issue with ponchos is that they're always... Ten dollars, and <laughs> you're not going to use it again. True, it's a fair point. It's it's nonsense. I got one when we got rained on in Hershey Park, and it was ten dollars because it says Hershey Park on it, and it was disgusting. <laughs> it's just plastic. True. Yeah. True. Also, not into it. With ponchos, a lot of the time, like for girls, guy once did my hair. I was like, oh, I'll wear a poncho, and then the hood falls off so easily. It does fall off mm. so easily, and you're just like, why did I even put anything on my body? Right. I might as well walked outside, got wet, and I would be less. I would have been less yeah, rained on. I'd rather just right. get wet. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, so let's take it back to umbrellas then. To umbrellas. Another issue that I have with umbrellas is specifically about dense cities where every single person is using an umbrella. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I find it very hard to do my normal. Zagging and weaving between people when I have to also account for this giant (laughs) net above me. (laughs) I end up like holding it really high (laughs) because I'm very considerate so that I can actually walk between people and not hit anyone. But nobody else seems to care if their umbrellas hit you. Yeah, I can take an eye out. (laughs) Yeah. No, like literally. And even you have to fit in there and then you're like weaving and wag. Like I don't even know what you're doing, but it's like a dance and you have to take so much more effort to pay attention instead of listening to your amazing podcast that you're just like diving into. 100%. I don't know how to make it better. Yeah, how do we fix this? So like, let's think. There's a, there was a alternative uh, pitched on Shark Tank that was like a, Raul, can you pull this up on the screen? (laughs) It was like an astronaut helmet, and everyone was like, you are goddamn nuts, and he did not get a deal, and oh, I'm pretty no. sure the company doesn't exist anymore. Wait, was there, was there a body cover but I was for the like, helmet? You know what? See, He's people got a try to make a change, yeah. and then, you they know. get shot down. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what happened? So it was, uh, it was a helmet, but was there any, like, things that covered your body, or was it just- No, it was, it was, so- <laughs> I think it was just the head. <laughs> that well, seems- And get, like, draped over your shoulders. <laughs> No, I would never this wear that. This is not what it was. That's a poncho that's with okay. a helmet, technically. Um, a poncho with a helmet. he's pitching. <laughs> that helps the hood. Oh, Check the situation. It? Is this it? No, that's shark diving. Try putting <gasps> try putting rain in the search terms. <laughs> I love having a producer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Maybe what it was the like, hell? I feel like there was something else, but that that's also pretty we good. Could also Wait, that's not tents. the worst so. idea in the world. Yeah, so um, we're looking at a tent. This yes. isn't a video podcast. It's like <laughs> when people have it like sports games when they go to watch their kids play soccer mm. at yes. eight PM and there's all the mosquitoes. That's so you also can sit in a little fun tent. That tent reminds me of on movie sets. Wait, right? wait, wait, wait. Mm. Um, put your mouse up one. Oh, we found it. There it is. That's it. Oh. It's like a My description wasn't very accurate, I'm sorry. Oh, interesting. Still doesn't protect the body of when the wind. It's kind of like an umbrella that you just don't have to hold. Yeah, even with the umbrella, like your legs still get wet and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So like I'm I'm fine with I'm fine with the exposure to the body. Mm -hmm. I want (laughs) my face to remain dry. Right. (laughs) Yes. My thing. I agree with that. The hair is the big one for me. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, it always happens the day actually put effort into my hair. Always rain or every time the humid day where it's like you're gonna sweat. 
a lot today. <laughs> yes. And this is all going to be for nothing. <laughs> As a frizzy hair haver, I appreciate when I end my day with the same volume to my hair as I began it with. That's yeah. a win. Yeah. <laughs> it is a win. Yeah. I also just wish there was something that would protect. I know you're saying that the feet aren't as important, but like there is nothing worse than walking home and then your feet and socks are soaked. Socks. And then yes. you have to wait for your feet to dry. So like, I just feel like if we're going to do this and do it right. <laughs> the lack of comfort in galoshes is something I can definitely agree with you on. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't think, I don't, I'm trying to think of how to word this gently so as not to hurt your feelings. <laughs> Why would it hurt my feelings? I'm just kidding. I, <laughs> I think the umbrella and rain footwear are separate conversations. Okay. Two oh, separate issues. Okay. Yeah. Separate issues. Need separate solutions. <laughs> okay. That's fair. And it's pretty sad that like we can't think of like the market is ripe for somebody to come in here and fix this. Mm-hmm. I mean, this wasn't it. This for some not. reason. <laughs> Apparently. It was not it. This was not I'm it. like not 100% opposed. It does look like I'm camping, but... That takes up more room than a regular umbrella, though. So the, the yeah. trying to figure out how to navigate with the umbrella. That how just, do you pull that out and, like, walking it, down the street? It's just... That's takes, true. It's like a two-person need, setup. Like, yeah. <laughs> if you ever been to one of those, um, those, like, museums where you step inside this thing and there's a bubble and you, like, lift it up. And so you're doing a poncho from the bottom. Yeah. That but you pull, not, oh, but yeah, a poncho that you pull because up. it wouldn't have a stupid hood and, mm. like, the tight neckline. I wear necklaces. Right. I have a question. Go ahead. Yeah. Now... What umbrellas have you tried? Have you tried the ones that go like that, like come like this down, down your body? I've never found not the ones not. out. No, they're always remember, out. see those little clear ones Every that like wrap around I've your body. I purchased an umbrella. It's been in a panic state because I didn't know it was going to rain <laughs> and I need an umbrella. Hundred <laughs> percent. So I haven't gotten a good one. Oh, that's the true. umbrella I'm currently using was the last one at a convenience store when I was <laughs> yeah. on the way home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I just feel like maybe we should. Even just, I agree with you 100%. Maybe we should have like rainy day gear that's better suited to like the modern day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I need I need a working woman's <laughs> rain gear. <laughs> we, should, we should trademark that and make it. The modern working woman. That's so funny. <laughs> just like takes into consideration that we have backpacks and multiple bags. That's and true. Holding. Yeah. Yes. The umbrella never covers your backpack. No, your, my, yeah. My bag gets wet. It's yeah. a whole thing. And it's like for even mothers who are working mothers, they have like the diaper bag. Like I just feel like the gear in general plus an umbrella, something needs to change. Something needs to change. Even worse is when you're with someone who didn't bring an umbrella oh, and, feel and they expect you to share your umbrella <laughs> with them. And now you're getting just equally wet on both. You're like, this isn't working. We're both just it's, halfway. Yeah, we're, now we're just both halfway wet. Why yeah. don't you get all the way wet? Because I, I was smart today. Yes. You, you not smart. Me smart. <laughs> That's such a good point. We gotta shift the umbrella to a punishment tool for your significant other. Smart. So then there's the space to invent a new umbrella. (laughs) Umbrella two is gonna be better than ever. (laughs) Can the marketing campaign have women wearing blazers with shoulder pads? Absolutely. (laughs) Yes. Okay. That's all I care about. Well, until someone comes out with umbrella two, this has been Zag season. (laughs) I'm Autumn. I'm Dominique. I'm Brianna. I'm Danielle. Thank you so much for listening.